Thanks for tuning in. Uh, last time I had a comparison between different uh, DVRs. Uh, among those, this Eosheen Pro DVR. As shown in the previous video, there was a bug with this uh, DVR. So uh, let's take a look at uh, a short clip from the previous video. Well, uh, before we um, go into the uh, recordings, I uh, just noticed while I was recording that um, this Eosheen Pro DVR uh, does not uh, actually work um, very good. So let me just show you. So if we go into the menu, here I can, uh, I can select size, it says VGA. So if I just click and select uh, any other, D1 or HD, um, press menu again to go to the next uh, setup screen, press menu again to exit the menu. If I now go into the uh, menu again, it says, still says VGA. So the only, uh, the only uh, quality um, selection I can do between VGA, D1 and HD is actually VGA. So as you could see then the bug was that you could not change the video quality or the size as they call it. So let's, um, let's take a quick look and see how we can fix it. So we'll just go to banggood.com. We search for the Eosheen Pro DVR. Here it is. And just down, oh, hold on for a second. So just down here, you can see the new firmware. So I will just uh, right click it, save the link as, and I will just save it to my, um, I will save it to my, uh, to the root of the SD card that you are using on the, on the uh, Pro DVR. So let's head out of here and, uh, and, and take the SD card uh, to the DVR. So let's take the, um, the SD card and just uh, put it in, just let me zoom out just uh, a little bit. So we will put the SD card in the DVR like that. We will connect um, a little bit more. We will connect it to the uh, to the screen. We will turn the screen on. We will hook up some power. Can we fit everything in? There are no power on there. Hold on a second, I think I will have to have a different battery. Yeah, so I have hooked up the, uh, the power. And soon as you do, uh, it starts flashing. And uh, when it stops flashing, the uh, upgrade is, uh, is done. So it seems like... Uh, seems like it's done. So uh, you can try to disconnect the power again. And we can reconnect the power and see if it uh, starts the uh, 
firmware upgrade once more or if it deletes the uh, the firmware file it, it, it seems like it's deletes the firmware file so let's try to turn on the screen <coughs> Okay. So if I hold, I think it's in PAL mode. That's why it's flickering. <clears throat> so PAL. There you go. So if we, yeah. So now we can try to uh, select HD. So we are out. Let's enter the menu again. And it's um, HD. So the, that uh, actually fixed the, uh, the issue. <clears throat> so, and that's how easy that is and uh, I'm gonna do another comparison video so we can see the quality of the Eashin Pro DVR in HD and D1 mode compared to the um, HM DVR and the other DVR that I used. So um, that's it. Basically it's very easy. Go to bangong.com, find the Eashin Pro DVR and download the firmware from there. Uh, uh, put it on the root on the SD card insert the SD card into the Eashin Pro DVR, power up, wait for the DVR to uh, stop blinking, recycle power and you're good to go. The only thing that it's a uh, default to NTSC so if you're using PAL you will have to uh, change your screen to, 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 um, to NTSC before you can see anything. But now I can just uh, just go back and uh, Select PAL. I'm also going to select the, uh, the Hertz to 50. And that's it. So that's it. Thanks for watching.